What's good? It's Jordan. Today we'll be talking about never give up on yourself. Know that anything you're going through, it's a marathon. Know that anything that you observe in this life, you're going to go through a situation. You're not going to go through life without failure. You're not going to go through life without situations to make you understand and experience this life. Never give up on yourself. Never give up on what you want to do, what you want to bring in this world, what you want to bring in this life for yourself. Never give up. And you know, it's easier said than done when people say never give up because you hear it in cliche terms. But if you woke up today and you're able to pursue your passion and pursue your gifts, if you're able to go to that job, if you're able to go to your business, if you're able to do anything that's best for yourself, never give up. You know, sometimes we fall, but how we rise is much more important. How strong are you? How strong are you to rise from what you've been through? You know, you you may be a person that when you were younger, you were bullied by people. You never got, never had friends never had anyone around you to protect you and look after you. You've been through the worst situations when you're younger, but now you grow far much older and you're in a position where you can take care of yourself and take care of your family. Understand that is a blessing. What you've been through when you're younger is a testimony to show others that when they go through it, they can get through it as well. Never give up on yourself. Your passion may be hard, what you want to do may be hard for you, and you may not understand why you're failing at it, why you're not striving, why you're not getting to that position you deserve. But it's all in due time. You know, we have young people from ages 20 to 30 feeling like they failed, feeling like they didn't do anything with their life because they're not successful at that age. But you, may, you never know when your breaking point may be. Everyone doesn't have the same breaking point. I spoke about that in, a, in my last couple of videos where would you rather be in your 20s and be rich, successful, famous, all these type of things? Or would you rather have your success, fame, fortune when you're far much older? Age comes with being wise, being precise in making your decisions. Be precise. Sometimes you want it early, you want it for yourself, you want it for your own selfish inhibitions and you don't understand the extent to that. Learn, learn life. If you're not successful now, understand that five years from now, you may be successful. You may be further than where you were today. Understand this. Your timing is only your timing. You cannot want your timing to be on someone else's timing. That's that person's season for their success. Don't, not, don't look at other people's success and wish you had it. You never knew what they've been through. You never knew what harsh season they've been through to get there. They didn't give up. Why should you? You know, sometimes we have voices in our head telling us, things that are not really going on in our life. And we feel as though we can't make it out. Clear your mind, clear how you feel. Clear yourself. Your time is your time. It's not anyone else's timing, but your time. So what are you gonna do? Be upset, complain, be mad. That's just going to destroy your energy. You know, we look at other people's lives so much based upon social media, modern technology, that we can see what everyone else is doing. We see people going on vacations. We see people getting raises. We see people getting new cars, new houses. We see people with fame, fortune, everything that we feel we deserve without knowing what work they put in to get there. You may see somebody pull off the lot in a new car and you're like, damn, they just bought that car in cash. Whole time they're paying off that car through financing, through leasing. 
would you be able to do that? No, but since you don't ask these people these questions and since you don't know and you just perceive that everyone is successful, you just perceive that everything is going good in everyone's life, you feel as though everything's going good. If you don't have these things, don't feel a way about not having these things. Maybe it's not meant for your life. We always want to fit in a life that is not meant for us. Why? Because society tells us this. Society tells us you have to have a nice car. You have to have a nice home. You have to have a nice marriage. You have to have a nice family. You live the, you live the American dream. Your job is amazing. They're paying you a lot. In reality, that's not life. You know, you go to school, you get your education, then you want to get a job. And the job that you're applying for may not hire you. Then what? Your life changes. The person you want to get married to doesn't want to get married to you. Then what? Your life changes. And I'm saying this, these examples from a perspective where the modern person wants these things for their life. If you ask the modern person what they want, they want, a, they want a home, they want to get married, they want a family, and they want a large amount of money. That's all they want. You have, a, you have a small percentage of people who want a minimalistic life and just want to live a minimalistic life and be happy with that. Don't give up on yourself. Know what you want for yourself. Break down what you want. Break down your finances. Break down how you're going to get there. Break down your goals. Because the life you may want to live, just because you see other people living the life, may not be the life that you actually want to live. Be real with yourself. Hold yourself accountable. You know, people want to be around other people because they're in larger tax brackets and they got more money. You don't even know these people like that. They'll t anyone could tell you one thing and do another thing. Anyone could say one thing and do another thing. But until you're seeing their books, you're seeing how they're making their strides in their own life and their own business, you're not gonna know from the outer perspective. People are lo losing sleep over what they do in this life for success, losing sleep, not sleeping, not resting, just to live the dream. And you're thinking you need to live the dream with them and you don't even know what they're going through. Live your life for you. If you have goals of today you wanna pursue, pursue those goals. But don't compare your goals to what someone else has for themselves. Your goals is unique to you. You compare yourself to others, you're not going to live a, a fruitful life. You're just going to hurt yourself in the process. Your neighbor has a new car. Don't buy a new car because your neighbor has a new car and try to match with your neighbor. You may not be able to get that new car right now. Wait it out. Save your money. Invest your money. Learn. Learn skills that help you grow and develop as your money is being made. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your situation. And that's if you're in a situation right now and it's good and you want to obtain more. Don't give up. You can reach a higher level. You can do anything you want to do in this world. You got to still strive and try daily. Being consistent. Building daily habits. For me, I'm making these videos daily. Daily upon days upon days upon days. Why? Because I want to get the message out there. Be consistent. Be consistent with your goals. Never give up on yourself. There's going to be different avenues where 
you may want to give up and you may not know where to go, rebrand yourself, redirect your message. If you want to do something this year and everything is falling apart, step back a little bit, take some time, redevelop your skills, redevelop yourself, come back next year strong. You have the time to do these things. But you know why we don't do these things? Because we look at others. We look at what they're doing and we try to compare. Oh, because this person's business is successful right now. We got to get it right now, too. It's not our season. It may be their season. Be real with yourself. Anything that you want to do, you can do it. Don't put a timeline on what you want to do, but always be consistent in growing and knowing what you want to do and fostering yourself in this life. I want to thank you guys for watching today. Like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll be back with more topics.